Hello and welcome. This is an MAN off-road camper van from Julia Campers. And what makes this above all so special, in my opinion, is the flare. But anyway, we'll have a look at it first. So if you want more details on the um, 4x4, uh, please have a look at the description. And if for any reason I haven't put it there, then remind me. It does say here, so this is the 598, uh, 598 centimeters long, 204 wide, 265, nothing unusual there. So the uh, basis weight, empty weight, 2,840. Unfortunately, we've got here a price says from 87,000. This has got all of these things. Note the tent in the roof, uh, nearly 8,000 euros. And uh, okay, the um the wheels there the hubs three th nearly four thousand uh so uh that's where that's that's where the money goes so this is well in excess around nearly hundred and ten thousand. this one uh without doing a full calculation um looks very very neat inside this one is a sleep six sleep six in a six meter van Personally, I don't think that's a very good idea, but that is probably what the client specified for the uh, manufacturer. Uh, we have got here a very nice small um, washroom for a six meter vehicle. That is, uh, that's pretty good. Personally, I don't like the bowl, but that's just me. Uh, I have a different one, but you know, very well done. Um, they've also got the same one the Mercedes Sprinter and the Mercedes Sprinter is even more difficult to work with as far as putting in washrooms is concerned right so this is your 8,000 euro tent in the roof it is it does appear to have two layers to it but even so it's gonna get you know it's gonna get pretty cold the tent comes with a window uh, which I suppose is a good thing. Uh, you know, I don't know where you're going to put storage though for uh, uh, six people and something like this. Uh, maybe in the back a bit. But I say, uh, certainly, maybe, maybe it's six people going off-roading, wearing the same clothes, and they're going to live by foraging. In which case. In which case we probably won't need the the, the, the cooker here. Um, right, have a look down here. There you go. There's the. Oh, I don't know what this is meant to be. That might become a wardrobe one day. Not finished. At least I think it's not finished. No, it's definitely enough for people to get prepared for events like this. Well, I could have done. I would have preferred a proper sides on the carpentry down there. And here's the fridge. Let's have a look outside. Now, you probably wouldn't have a railing there. Well, you might do. Who knows? Right, I'm going to close the door now. If I can. Oh dear, I can't, sorry. There's some steps in the way. And right, here we've got a flare, which comes out at this side and uh, to here. The flare gives more space internally. And in this case, you can scarcely see that the flare is there. On the other side, the, the flare is far more obvious. There you go. Big flare starts here and runs all the way back down to the front. Now, when people say about cost, for example, that's one place where, you know, that is the cost for doing something like that is really uh, quite significant. Mind you, I mean, the vehicle does cost a few, few cents 
uh, Yellowstone four-wheel drive. I think that Heimer has a Yellowstone as well. All right, let's, uh, let's just put this up. So to put this up, we'll put this thing in the middle of it and press this button here and you can see it go up. Oh dear, that's a nasty sound. Is that it? All oh, right, well that's as far as it wants to go up. And let's see, it, let's, let's see it come down in this case. Yeah, so it's now touching, it's now touching the light. Uh, right, so if this were me, I'd, uh, this would go at the bottom bit, that would go completely as it's hand. You've got six people in there, the only bit of storage really, if any use is in there. I suppose you could get a couple of changes of clothes couple of pieces of footwear and a tin of dog food in there but uh, it isn't it isn't a great deal so um, that's on the MAN here we've got one on a Mercedes and uh, this is called Yosemite also a six-person vehicle but then a, a flare on this side, which starts here, and then it continues, continues on here, like that. So the flare, it's the only company I know that does, I can think of at the moment, and somebody right in the, this, this, but the, the flare starts on the driver's side. In fact, let's, uh, let's even show you this. Uh, this time I'm gonna take the steps out of the way, and, See if we can, I can close that door. I can't, I've got these steps in the way. Close the door. And so there, you can see the flare, the way it runs all the way back. That, I appreciate. Yeah, I'll show you in this one as well. Big saw, four by four. And uh, so this thing here, we're looking at 91,570 to start off with and so uh, VW base uh, it's not as high as the others and doesn't have the tent in the roof it does have four sleeping places at the back and it has the same attractive washroom so uh, it gives you a little look at what is available here anyway now I'll come I'll go back to this one here the uh, on the MAN and so a uh, bit of kit on the outside thanks very much for watching I upload every uh, a day at 21.15 you see all sorts of uh, motorhomes and camper vans on this channel it is the largest selection of motorhomes and camper vans on uh, on youtube and uh, you get critical and i think fair uh, com reviews of them i don't just tell you what the manufacturers want you to believe So if you want critical advice then but bad filming then you can watch me. If you want to film see something that's been filmed absolutely stupendously but just an advertisement then you there are plenty of other channels doing that. But for the moment, thanks for watching.